yo, yo, what's going on? This is the NRW back with another infamous react. I'm here with the Checkpoint Squad. I got Brian Saff. I got Webster Style. What's going on? And I'm Kuya P. Y'all ready to get down with another react to some new joints coming up? Yes, sir. Sure. All right, let's uh let's check this one out, man. A Rob Zombie film. He's doing the monsters. I'm intrigued. I haven't seen this yet, so let's let's peep this. Okay. Let's peep. Okay. I, I was a fan of the monsters growing up, both the original series and the what was it, late '80s remake they did. Okay. Yeah, I remember they did do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I didn't see any of the uh, TV movies they did Rob after they came out the night. The director no. of House of a Thousand Corpses. This should be interesting. Halloween <laughs> and the Devil's. Because you know, as we see, Rob loves all these kind of type of stuff. So right. yeah. I'm sure he'll do it justice. Oh, uh, I I don't like the sound of that. Think of it. The brain of a super genius transplanted into the body of a perfect physical specimen. <laughs> I want a man that like makes look my blood it. run cold. Yeah. A man that every time he enters my crypt, it's like it's a stake uh, through my dead black. It's very TV oh, movie-ish. I cannot I get it. Oh, yes. Oh, it yeah. reminds me Remember what happened of, last time? He oh, was bad. What was it? The Sabrina re reboot that's go. on Netflix right now? Okay. Mm, yes. A chilling adventure. Looking for a vision. Yeah. A queen. But you can't True really love. take the monster seriously, though. What exactly do you want? Is Herman Munster in there? <laughs> uh -huh. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you that you were special. I understand if you don't feel the same. I'm just a regular gal living a boring, normal life. If there's one thing I know, is that the rest of the world melted away as soon as you appeared in my life. It seems Miss Lily is truly in love. Oh, come on. You know and I know that we got to get rid of that bozo Herman Munster. <laughs> I like that we can do that. All I'm saying hobbies. is, I don't know who's playing Grandpa, but Al Lewis must be smiling down from heaven soon. Yeah. He looks like him. <laughs> so this happened before they had son. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm digging this man. Nobody yeah. tended this on the shovel. Greetings from Transylvania. <laughs> That's a strange way of saying hello. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to get used to it. Okay. okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Oh, uh, I'm. I am. It's the monsters. I, I don't. You can't do this seriously. It has to be exactly. off the wall. Yeah. I saw someone, and this is what made me realize it was out. It was um, uh, not you know if you remember John Campier. I love his movie show. Yeah, and his 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 segment for this was the Monsters trailer. Is it the worst trailer ever? I'm like, and that's that's the first thing I saw before I even saw the trailer. Oh, so he was already <laughs> starting. Yeah, exactly, and I was like. Okay, I was really going and expecting the worst, but th this is what I expected yeah, when I yeah. saw it was Rob Zombie. When I saw it was the monsters, all you need to do is make them look right. They look yeah. right, and you're going to see the monsters in 2022. I am excited <laughs> for this movie. Now, is it something I'm going to go out to the theater to see? Probably not, and that's only because we've had that discussion about those movies that really draw us to the theaters now. But yes. whenever it comes out on streaming. I'll watch it in most definitely universal. Yeah. So Peacock 45 days later. So yeah. I would definitely be watching this when it comes out on streaming. Completely agree. I agree as well. I'm, I like the trailer, the whole shooting style, everything about it looks like a fun watch. Exactly. It looks like a fun movie. And I, and I think that's what, that's what you would want from the months. It's like, like the Adams family, you know, both of those, right. you know, even though the Adams family are based on books, both of those are from the same era, at least our mm -hmm. mental image of those TV families that they yeah. hold. And, they, and they're, they're related in the fact that, you know, that sort of horror genre and it's comedic format. Right. You, you don't expect a serious Adams family because we are getting a Tim Burton Wednesday 
but yeah, that's, that's Tim on Burton. Netflix. Yeah. So you know, but in general, <laughs> we don't expect a serious Adams family. We expect different motifs. We expect it to be campy, and that's mm-hmm. the same thing with the monsters. We expect the campiness um, yes. of the monsters because that's something that's part of their charm as characters. Even though they're mm-hmm. knockoffs of Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, and Dracula it's still they still had a unique personality unto their own right. and I th- that's what i'm very excited about i think that. that's i agree i think that's the draw too that i don't think people kind of lose sight of that sometimes like because that was a fine trailer to me i was yeah. like okay i know what i'm getting like i like what i'm seeing like i expected this th- these characters like you said they are iterations of frankenstein and dracula and stuff like that but that's a part of their that's a part of the reason that the trailer is supposed to look like that because right. it's showcasing a different side or a different spin on those characters they it's a comedy for lack of better right i don't know understanding the films yeah but I, i'm cool with it I'm, I'm gonna check it out when it comes out well cool. one of the things you out. said was <laughs> it looks like a tv movie it does and i think that's i think that's done on purpose right oh no yeah because I, I'm I'm so, happy with it. That's that that's yeah. like the main point for me. Because when we've seen these cinematic remakes, uh, or you know comebacks from a lot of these, it looks very cinematic, which is cool to a degree. Right. But in this essence, which which you know to the point that I said it looks like a TV movie, I think that's desirable, especially with certain type of properties. And right, yeah. a show like this, it's very TV. So oh, yeah. to have it done in that, con- it's like continuation of the show that people already know and love exactly. at least right. from that time period and giving you that it's just in a longer oh. format form of a, a film and okay. not all you know projects like that need that gloss or that you know that extra bit of lipstick you know which makes it like that big cinematic experience right i agree so i'm all right. for it man and uh what i'm uh, another just key thing to just you know outside of you know that point that we've all discussed was what i'm really digging because it's a universal project is uh, where, we, where we saw that glimpse of the creature from creature from black lagoon so yes. i'm kind of curious what other uh universal monsters if you will yes. will be uh, inserted monsters. here and there which would be kind of cool uh to I see i think i think we may see like a good bit of them i was confused a little bit i was wondering if this was a film or a tv series but yeah, obviously it's a movie um, but I don't know. There was talks at some point in time of like rebooting all of the different universal like monsters in a certain way. I think this might be a good way to go. I know they were struggling because uh, the mummy reboots weren't all that popular and stuff like that. And I don't know. They did other stuff, but I ain't talking about. Look, I think <laughs> I watched 20 minutes of the mummy of that. <laughs> That's what I'm hey, saying. we don't need to like, bad mouth of this stuff right now. Let's keep it on. No, yeah. <laughs> I like but, I like where this monster this movie is going, yes. and hopefully, looks good. Yeah, they include some more because this is perfect. And then also, you two are parents or whatever. The 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 feel of this movie. I feel like if I was a parent, I would be cool introducing right. my yeah. kids to the monsters. Got a family. Like, good yeah, family just through this part. Not over-sexualized. Yeah. Right. And right. The, the overall like theater gloss and the high value shine to it that normal reboots try to do is not there. If it looks TV movie. It looks friendly for kids. So yeah. I agree. I think they went in with this one. I'm down. I agree. Okay. The Monsters, a Rob Zombie film is coming our way, y'all. Uh, you got the sign off, I, I believe, from all three of us, right? We, we, yes. We're going to give it a go. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just yeah. maybe not at the theater, but if it's streaming, we're copying. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we would know. Either Peacock, at worst, it'll be on Paramount+. Plus. <laughs> Both are fine services. Yes. We'll be there to watch. Just the yes. theater is, is different. It's different money right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, all yeah. right. So uh, for our connects, if y'all want to connect with us and hey, if you're Paramount or your any of those services want to hook, hook your boys up with some oh, yeah. connects and, you know, maybe free, <laughs> free services, you know, we down, we're down. So uh, Webster Style, how can the people reach out to you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Webster Style, TikTok at underscore Webster Style. And of course, anything and everything is Webster Style can be found at WebsterStyle.com. There you go. Brian Saff. I am. Oh, damn it. I just did it right. I'm here. Brian Saf uh, on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. DMs open. I believe there's email somewhere. 
in one of those bios, you know, you'll find me. I'm there. All right. For me, it's the legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok, and IG. Of course, Show Pal Show, AAPI Toy Heroes. And of course, here with the Checkpoint Squad at the NRW Nat Newly's Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Peace. All right. <laughs>